Hello everyone, my name is Brie and welcome to Documented Journey. So today's video is all about ballpoint pen ink. Um, this has been a long time coming. I do have ballpoint pen process videos and I can list that playlist in the description box for you. But this is strictly just about the ink and what I have discovered with the ink, which I find pretty interesting. And I kind of already knew anyway, but I wanted to try um, some things out before I went ahead and told you guys about them so I knew exactly what I was talking about, right? So I first started with ballpoint with a Bic pen. Um, there are many reasons why I love the ballpoint pen and I'm just going to run through them really quick. I am thinking about doing an extended video on this so I'm just going to kind of lay it out there for you. The reason I like it is because I like the sketchy look of a drawing. Um, I like how the lines look and I just like the detail of it even though it's not perfect it's still like I said sketchy. Also I like the idea of playing with line weight so you can make something really light with the pen and you can make something really heavy. It's all it's all about the pressure of your hand on the paper. And then the last thing is it's cheap. The ballpoint pen, is it can be so cheap. It does not have to be this, this expensive thing, even though this wasn't that expensive, but it doesn't have to be this expensive thing like a fountain pen or something. So those are like the three things that the reasons why I like it. Uh, oh, also because it's waterproof. I have had the hardest time finding waterproof ink for my um, fountain pens, but ballpoint pen, no matter what kind or how cheap you go with a ballpoint pen, it is waterproof, completely waterproof. So you can sketch all your things, you can write all your stuff, and then you can go over it and plop watercolor on top of it and it will stay put, which is awesome. It just resists it. The pen will resist the watercolor. So let's start super cheap. A big pen, it doesn't have to be a multi pen. I just, this is what I have uh, with me. It could be a single big pen or it could be even a cheap, like the free pens you get from the bank. I mean, that's how cheap you could go. Um, these work just fine. You could also buy a, the next step up would be like a Parker Jotter. This was online for, I think on Amazon for $8. I'll list it in my um, Amazon favorites. So you've got something like this for like, you can get a whole pack of these for $3, not these, but the single ones, or you could get this guy for, I don't know how much that is, but this is about eight. You could, get, this is a plastic body. You could get a metal body and I think they uh, run like, I don't know, maybe 10 they're cheap and they come with their own ink cartridge and then this is in my Amazon um, favorites but it is a brass pen it is the cheapest brass pen I found on Amazon because I just wanted to try it and see what it was like I liked the idea that it kind of looks like a pencil um, and this was about like I don't know under 20 that's kind of the range that I have here it's nothing expensive which is really nice my problem with the ballpoint pen was the fact that it's fugitive I really liked the idea of a fountain pen and it being archival because as you see here you can see that there's a difference between this top section and this bottom section I just want my stuff to last not that I'm gonna be putting it out in in the Sun for it to dissolve but you get what I'm saying I'm sure all of you feel the exact same way I have been told by many people to stop using ballpoint pen because they opened their journals from 20 years ago and it's all gone it all disappeared and I've heard that time and time again and you know it I get that I do get it because I used to use felt tip pens all the time and a few years of my journals got wet and they're all gone because they got wet they all ran and it's just it looks like a colorful mess <laughs> because I use different colors so everyone chooses to use what they use and I love the ballpoint pen so I thought I need to find something that will last so I did just that I have two different ballpoint pen cartridges that are technically archival that's what they call them I will have them listed in the description box for you below um, the Parker Jotter is a uh, like very well-known pen um, and also this Schmidt is a very well-known ink 
company that you can buy from. And this right here, the uh, Schmidt Inc. and or the Parker Jotter Inc., uh, this is what it looks like. When I put it in the window for a month, it's been a month, I live in Colorado, so the sun is shining most days. Um, you can tell that things are starting to disappear. The color is almost turning like a brown or brass type of color. But then the archival inks that I have purchased, the two that I have listed below, they have faded, but not as much as the Parker. So... If you are at all interested in a ballpoint pen, you can easily use one of these. And, you know, like anything else, just like if you use pink fountain pen ink, it's going to fade over time. But if you wanted to get something that is, is more long-lasting, then check out my links below. Um, they are an Amazon affiliate link. I just want to put that out in, in the open so you know. Um, so if you do purchase them, I do get a kickback. It's not a lot, it, but it's something to keep my channel going. So I wanted you all to be aware of that. I am loving this ink. I bought a big pack so that way I would not run out. Some people get nervous about buying big packs of ink like this for ballpoint pen cartridges because there's no tips on the ends. I'll show you. And people get worried that it's going to dry out. There's no like, you know, kind of cap to close it. But the whole idea of a ballpoint pen is that there's a roller ball in the tip. And the roller ball only moves if you push down on the pen. And then that dispenses the ink. So it's almost like it's kind of... Um, I don't know, capped anyway, but if you find that you get one of these and it's just not writing and not writing, all you have to do is I kind of like post the pen out and I take a lighter and I light the tip of that and it gets the ink flowing just fine. I have had to do that uh, mainly in these because they're so lightweight, but this pen is a heavier pen. I don't have to put as much pressure on the paper as I would with this pen so it kind of like does its job for me if you get what i'm saying also this pen is heavy some of you have been asking about this this pen is heavy but again i don't all i have to do is grip it i don't have to put very much pressure down so i can get light lines i can get medium lines and i can get really thick lines with not much pressure from my hand so i don't get as much of a hand cramp while using this one as i do this one I also am used to a thicker barrel pen. Um, I use a Pilot Vanishing Point for my daily journal, and I'm just, I'm used to these thicker barrels, so this is really nice compared to this where my hand kind of like feels like, I don't know, it like cramps up around it because, well one, I don't grip it properly. Like I'm pretty sure I have like the wrong grip. I hold onto it like it's like a death grip. And two, it's just small. Um, not that I have big hands, it's just I'm used to this. So. Anyway, all that information will be listed for you in the description box below. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Remember, my ballpoint pen playlist videos, they will be listed in the description box as well. And um, I'm thinking about doing like a whole ballpoint pen series because I'm obsessed. You know this. So until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.